Hello, Curran here. This video is all about how you can deploy your project to the web using GitHub Pages. This is actually an issue that I've set up on this project. Add deployment instructions. The first thing we need to do in order to make this happen is to enable GitHub Pages in the Settings tab. So if I click on the Settings tab here, and then scroll down, see there's a section here about GitHub Pages. GitHub Pages takes what's in your repository, the files like index.html, so-and-so.js, and it hosts them to the web publicly. So you can send anyone a link to your visualization project, and they'll just be able to open that link and run your project in their web browser. See, it says here GitHub Pages is currently disabled. We need to select a source from this drop-down menu, and I think what I'd like to do is just use the master branch, and then I'll click Save. See up here it says GitHub Pages source saved. Now if I scroll down to the GitHub Pages section, it says your site is ready to be published at this URL. And if I click on this URL, it opens a page, but the page is blank. We can open the developer tools and we can see that the error is fail to load resource. The server responded with a 404 for bundle.js. So this project is using Webpack, which takes the JavaScript files, maybe a bunch of different source files, and combines them into this bundle.js. But I added bundle.js to git ignore. Let me show you that actually. If I go back to the main project page, see there's a .git ignore file. This file tells git to ignore certain files and don't add them to the git repository. I added the dist directory here which contains bundle.js because bundle.js, if you add some dependencies to your project, can be a very big file. And if you commit the big file built by Webpack over and over and over again on every change, then the repository itself grows in size over time. So rather than include bundle.js every time you make a change, you can uh, force Git to include bundle.js every time you want to intentionally deploy a new version of your code to your GitHub Pages site. I'll walk you through how you can do this. The first step of this process is to clone the repository. So I'll go back to the project homepage, and then I'll click this button here, clone or download with SSH. I'll copy this URL, and then in my terminal I'll say git clone, and then paste that URL. Then I'll navigate into that directory. I'll type ls just to see what's here. Then I'll do cat package.json just to make sure what's in the scripts section that I could run. Here we have build and serve scripts. Serve is what you can use for local development. So if you say npm run serve, this will start the Webpack dev server, which will automatically rebuild when you change the source files. The Webpack dev server is good for local development, but when it comes to deploy your site, you need to use this other command, build. The build command will generate that bundle.js, which you can then add to your repository and push to deploy your site. So let's try it. npm run build. Oh no, we got an error, but this is just because we haven't installed dependencies. We can install dependencies by saying npm install. Now that all our dependencies are installed, we can run npm run build and it will succeed. I remember in this issue I added some instructions about how to add bundle.js. This here is the sequence of commands that we can execute 
to add bundle.js to the repository even though it's in git ignore that's what the dash f is for and then commit that change and then push the repository and then bundle.js will be loadable via github pages so let's try it out git add dash f for force dist slash bundle.js and then git commit dash m deploy we're going to make a commit with a message deploy and then git push oh no this error means that my internet is not working so let me change the Wi-Fi settings and try again all right there we go it pushed up to the remote repository now if we go back to this page this github pages URL and refresh the page it should work let's see if it does all right it's working we deployed our page okay now I'm gonna go about actually adding the instructions to the readme to close this issue I'll make a new section called deployment and the first thing will say alright to deploy your project using github pages first enable github pages in the settings tab each time you want to deploy a new version of the site run the following commands npm run build git add f dist slash bundle.js git commit dash m whatever commit message you want and then git push and be sure to also first install dependencies just this is a one-time thing with npm install now that I've made my change to the readme I'll add the readme.md and then make a new commit add deployment instructions closes number two and this syntax closes number two will automatically close the issue and then I'll say git push now if I refresh the issue page it's closed all right that's how you can use github pages to deploy your project live on the internet for anyone to see but people need to be able to get to the link right so one last step is we should add that link somewhere in the project maybe in the beginning of the readme or as the project site now I'm going to go back to the main repository page and then click on this edit button right here this lets us specify a website for this project I'm gonna take this github pages URL and paste it here as the website for the project and then click Save all right now the link is there as a very prominent link for anyone who goes to the project and now we can click it and see our scatter plot running full screen all right we've done the last step of adding the link and making sure people can get to this deployment so good luck doing the same for your project